自年春，诗词重归宝林，并宗与姿白。送者千余人，直至曹溪。时荆州通应律师与学者数百人，依诗而著。诗至曹溪宝林，观唐与皎爱，不足容众，欲广之。In the spring of the following year, the master took leave of the assembly and returned to Baolin. Ying Zong, together with more than a thousand monks and lay people, accompanied him to Cao Xi. At that time, Vinaya Master Tong Ying of Jingzhou and several hundred students followed the master and came to dwell there. When the master arrived at Baolin in Cao Xi, he saw the buildings were bleak and small. Insufficient to accommodate the crowd, wishing to enlarge them. 岁夜里人陈雅先曰：“老僧欲就谈月求坐居地，得否？”先曰：“和尚坐具几许阔？”祖出坐具试之，雅先为然。足以坐具一盏，径照曹溪四径。四天王现身，坐镇四方。今四径有天王岭，因兹而名。先曰：知和尚法力广大，但无高祖坟墓并坐此地。他日造塔，信望存留，余愿尽舍。有为宝法，然此地乃生龙白象来脉，只可平天，不可平地。嗣后迎见，以一其言。师由境内山水甚处，则气质，遂成兰若一十三所。今日花果院。立即四门，其宝林道场以先是西国制药三藏，自南海经曹溪口，举水而饮，香美一之。赞其徒曰：“此水以西天之水无别，西原上必有圣地，堪为兰若，随流至原上。”四顾山水回环，风峦其秀，叹曰。宛如西天宝林山也。He paid a visit to the villager Chen Yaxian and said, "This old monk comes to the alms giver seeking a sitting cloth's worth of land. Is that possible?" Shen asked, "How big is the high master's sitting cloth?" The master took out his sitting cloth. It completely covered the four borders of Cao Xi. The four heavenly kings appeared and sat as protectors in each of the four directions. It is true to this occurrence that the mountain range bordering the monastery is called the range of the heavenly kings. Xian said, "I know that the High Master's Dharma power is vast and great. However, the burial ground of my great grandfather lies on this land. In the future, if you build a stupa, I hope this area will remain undisturbed. As for the rest." I wish to give it all to be a forever treasured place. This land has the flowing energy of a living dragon and a white elephant. Level only heaven, do not level earth. Later, the monastery was constructed according to his words. The master roamed within these boundaries, and at places where the scenery was fine. 
he stopped to rest. Accordingly, the thirteen Aranyas were erected, among them the present Huaguo Hall. The site of the Baolin Bodhimanda was decided upon long ago by Indian Tripitaka master, Junana Vaishacha, who, during his journey from Nanhai, passed Caoxi, where he cupped up the water with his hands and found it to be delicious. Surprised, he told his disciples, This water is no different from that of India. Its source would surely be an excellent site on which to build a monastery. He followed the water and looked to the four directions. The mountains and waters encircled one another, and the peaks were impressive. He sighed and said, This is just like jeweled forest mountain in India. He told the villagers of Cao Hou, A pure dwelling may be built here. After 170 years, the unsurpassed Dharma jewel will be taught here. Those who realize awakening here will be as numerous as the trees of this forest. It should, therefore, be called Baolin, Jeweled Forest. At that time, Magistrate Hou Jingzhong of Shaozhou reported these words to the emperor, who assented and conferred upon it the name Baolin Bodhimanda. The construction of this pure monastery began in the third year of the Tianjian reign of the Liang dynasty, 504 AD.